Now, I am a little obsessed with ink, all ink. I do think it is because I adore the little bottles that they come in. And admittedly, I don't actually use a lot of ink when I'm designing products. But behind the scenes, I am always using ink to play with, to experiment with, and to just have fun with. I can't get enough of it. I absolutely adore it. And that fun and exploration definitely feeds into my work. Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erin and this is the Apple Shed, my creative space. It's Halloween and it's also blowing a gale outside. So I hope that the shed doesn't blow away. Nevertheless, we shall go on. Did you enjoy the little intro that I made for you there? One of my bestest friends in the world came to stay down here with me for the last six days. And this footage was of our little trip to a beautiful town called Richmond. And it was just so gorgeous. I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed it. So this week, I'm going to do a little demo for you of the Gods and Monsters Inc. by Jane Davenport. I have followed Jane Davenport for years. She is and will always be one of my favorite creators. I love what she creates, but I love also the way that she runs her business. I love her art supplies. I love that she just goes from strength to strength to strength and all the things that she creates and it's just amazing. She just slays and it's an inspiration to watch her unfold in the world. So, I decided that the Gods and Monsters Inc. would be a lovely art supply to feature and to share with you guys because it's one of my favorites. Now, when it was released, of course I knew I was gonna buy it purely because I love a bit of mythology and Gods and Monsters. But not only that, the colors. The colors of the inks spoke to me because they are full of muted tones, but also deep colors and also bright colors. And that's just my bag, especially the muddy, muted, mixed with pops of deep and bright. I just love it. I love that. Now I don't buy all the things that Jane, all the supplies that she produces. I'm quite selective about what I choose, but I'm never disappointed when I make a choice. And it was so with the Gods and Monsters Inc. It really is beautiful. So for today's video, we're going to do a little witchy scene and I'm going to use these inks. To start with, I'm going to use the Hermes Gradient Ink, which is this beautiful orangey red bright tone. It's so gorgeous, so eye-catching. I love it. Perfect for Halloween. So first up, I'm going to sketch in with my brush, the witch and her cauldron. 
and they are gradient inks. So as the colors move and dry, they form different hues and shades. Now, I am a little obsessed with ink, all ink. I do think it is because I adore the little bottles that they come in. And admittedly, I don't actually use a lot of ink when I'm designing products. But behind the scenes, I am always using ink to play with, to experiment with, and to just have fun with. I can't get enough of it. I absolutely adore it. And that fun and exploration definitely feeds into my work. And I like to use it straight from the bottle to do the lime work and then mix in with water and let it wash. And then when it's dry, come back in with straight colour again to put in the depth and the tones. amazing the way they flow the way the colors move and not only that but they're quite forgiving you can add more water to water it down you can shift the colors now I'm laying down the line work first and then I can shade over that line work and if I'm quick and don't work the color too much the initial lines will stay there but if I make a mistake or I don't like the initial line work and I, I can work a bit of water in there and shift it and move it. So water does activate the inks. Now I'm going to use Minotaur, which is one of my all time favorites of this range. Uh, this beautiful velvety purpley brown. And I'm going to do the branches of the tree with that. It is such a beautiful color. I, I can't get enough of it. I just love it. It might even be my absolute favorite. Now, lastly, I'm going to add the background in with the bushes of the forest around the witch. I'm gonna do that with this Severus ink, which is muted-y, greeny, pinky. Oh, it's just lush. So good, I love the washed out mutedness of it. But then when it dries, look, it moves in these shades of greeny, pinky, lilac. It's just, it's special. It's special and I love it. There you are lovelies. That is my Halloween illustration featuring the Gods and Monsters ink by Jane Davenport. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. If you want to share your experience with these inks and what are your favorites, I'd love to know more. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I will see you soon.